The mythology of different cultures around the world is full of amazing, fabulous, and terrifying animals and mythological beings. Hello people, welcome to Stories, Curiosities and Mysteries, today we will see 10 more amazing mythological animals, but before starting, don't forget to subscribe, activate the bell and leave a good like, it will help me a lot to move forward, well, without further ado, let's get started. Number 10, Chupacabras. The Chupacabras are a legendary and mysterious creature that has been the subject of numerous reports and urban legends, mainly in Latin America and some parts of the United States. Although descriptions may vary, it is generally depicted as a small, furry, evil being that feeds on the blood of livestock, domestic animals, and has sometimes been linked to attacks on humans. Descriptions of the chupacabra vary, but it is often described as a small, reptile-like creature or an alien-like being. It is often credited with the ability to jump great distances and hide easily. In some versions, he is described as having sharp claws and fangs to pierce the skin of his victims and draw blood. From initial reports in Puerto Rico, stories of the chupacabras spread throughout Latin America and other parts of the world. Urban legends suggest that it is a creature that attacks at night and feeds on the blood of animals and, in some cases, humans. However, the existence of the chupacabra has not been confirmed by any solid scientific evidence. In most cases, reports of chupacabra attacks have been attributed to known predators, such as coyotes or wild dogs, causing injuries to the animals and sucking their blood. In some cases, the bodies of animals may have been bled to death by scavenging insects. Number 9, Manananggal. The Manananggal is a mythological creature that is part of Philippine folklore. It is described as a nocturnal and evil being that separates itself from its body and dedicates itself to sucking the blood of people, especially pregnant women. The Manananggal is usually depicted as a woman, although during the night, she has the ability to separate the upper part of her body from the lower part. This upper half, which includes the head and upper limbs, is what is dedicated to flying in search of victims. It is usually attributed with wings similar to those of a bat. The lower half of the body is left behind. The Manananggal is known for its appetite for blood, and often heads to people's homes to drink the blood of victims, particularly pregnant women or children. It is said that she uses her long tongue to draw blood from people while they sleep. The Manananggal is believed to be vulnerable at night when its upper half separates from its body. To prevent it from returning, people often place salt, garlic, or ash on the lower half of their body left behind. It is also believed that it can be destroyed if found and salt or vinegar would be sprinkled on the lower part of the body it has left behind. Number 8, Rock. The rock is a mythological creature that appears in Arabian and Persian legends, and is sometimes associated with Greek mythology. It is a giant bird of epic proportions, with characteristics that vary according to different traditions. The rock is usually depicted as a gigantic bird with plumage that can be of various colors, but is often described as white or gold. Its size is believed to be immense, sometimes large enough to carry elephants or whales in its claws. The rock has its roots in Middle Eastern legends, particularly the stories of the Arabian Nights, also known as the Arabian Nights. In these stories, the rock is mentioned as a legendary creature that lives on the island of Roca, also called Rokot, and feeds on elephants. According to mythology, the rock lives in mountains or inaccessible regions, and is often associated with remote and mysterious areas. Roca Island is one of the best-known places associated with this creature. The rock is believed to feed on large prey, such as elephants, whales and other large animals. It is often depicted as a fearsome predator that can lift its prey into the air and carry them to its nest to feed. Number 7, Tanawa. The Tanawa is a mythological creature from Maori mythology, the indigenous people of New Zealand. These mythological creatures are a fundamental part of the cultural and spiritual traditions of the Maori. The Tanawa are mythical beings that can vary in appearance and characteristics depending on the region and specific history. They are often depicted as sea creatures, with features reminiscent of snakes, fish or dragons. They can also take the form of giant lizards or terrestrial beings. They are generally believed to be creatures of great size and power. 
In Maori mythology, tanoa are associated with bodies of water, such as rivers, lakes and oceans. They are considered spiritual guardians of these areas and are responsible for protecting the people who live near them. Maori have deep respect for the tanoa and avoid incurring their wrath. Before undertaking important activities, such as canoe building or fishing, Maori often perform ceremonies and rituals to ask the tanoa for permission and protection. The tanoa are a fundamental part of Maori stories and myths. Their stories often involve these creatures in conflicts, adventures, and heroic deeds, and are used to convey cultural lessons and values. Number 6, Bunyip. The Bunyip is a mythical creature from Australian Aboriginal mythology. This creature has been part of the oral traditions and legends of Australia's Aboriginal people for centuries. Despite its presence in mythology, its description and characteristics may vary depending on the region and the Aboriginal community. The appearance and characteristics of the bunyip vary in different stories and legends. It is generally described as an aquatic creature that lives in rivers, lakes, swamps and other water sources. Descriptions often include features such as a crocodile-like body, scaly skin, fins, sharp fangs, and glowing eyes. The bunyip is considered a mysterious and fearsome creature in Aboriginal mythology. It is credited with the ability to emerge from the water at night to stalk humans and other animals that approach the water. It is believed to make terrifying screams and sounds. As Australia's Aboriginal communities are diverse and have different languages, cultures and traditions, descriptions and beliefs relating to bunyip can vary significantly from region to region. Some communities view him as a dangerous creature, while others consider him a more benign figure. Number 5, Awazadl. The Awazadl is a mythological creature that is part of Aztec mythology. It is described as an aquatic creature that lives in rivers and lakes and feeds on humans and other animals that approach the water. The Awazadl is generally depicted as a creature with dog or monkey features, with an additional hand in the center of its back. This extra hand is a distinctive feature of the Awazadl and is believed to be used to catch its victims. It is often credited with hairy skin and sharp claws. The Awazadl is believed to be an aquatic and nocturnal predator. It stalks people and other animals that approach water and uses its extra hand to catch its victims. It is credited with the ability to drag its victims underwater and devour them. Awazadl is part of Aztec mythology, the indigenous civilization that inhabited what is now Mexico before the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors. In Aztec mythology, the Awazadl was considered a dangerous and evil creature, and supernatural powers were attributed to it. Awazadl was a feared figure in Aztec mythology, and his depiction was used in part as a warning about the dangers of approaching bodies of water. The Aztecs believed that Awazadl stalked those who disobeyed the laws and taboos related to water and rivers. Number 4, Naklavi. The Naklavi is a mythological creature that is part of the folklore of the Orkney Islands, a group of islands in Scotland. This creature is known to be one of the most malevolent and terrifying beings in Scottish mythology. The Naklavi is described as a monstrous creature with a grotesque and creepy appearance. It has a humanoid torso fused with the body of a horse. Its skin is said to be pale and translucent, allowing the muscles and veins underneath to be seen. Its head resembles a skull, with a large mouth full of sharp teeth and no lips. Instead of eyes, it is believed to have empty black holes in its skull. The Naklavi is considered a malevolent and vengeful creature that brings disease, drought and calamity to people and livestock. Its breath is said to be poisonous and can spread diseases. In addition, it is believed that it can ruin crops and poison water sources. The Naklavi is said to inhabit the sea and emerge to wreak havoc on land and coastal communities. Number 3, Basilisk. The Basilisk is a mythological creature that has been part of European legends since ancient times. This creature, often depicted as a snake or reptile, is known for its ability to kill with its gaze or its poisonous breath. The basilisk is usually depicted as a reptile, such as a snake or dragon, with a crown on its head and a scaly body. Its appearance varies according to different traditions, 
but characteristics are often attributed to it that make it appear dangerous and poisonous. The basilisk is famous for its power to kill with its gaze. It is believed that his gaze can instantly petrify or kill anyone who looks him in the eyes. It is also credited with a poisonous breath that can kill those close to it. Throughout history, the basilisk has appeared in numerous literary works, such as the writings of Pliny the Elder and other classical authors. He has also been depicted in European heraldry, where he is often drawn as a serpent with wings and a crown. The basilisk is a European mythological creature known for its deadly and poisonous powers. Although his representation may vary, he is considered an iconic figure in European mythology and folklore. Number 2, Krampus. Krampus is a mythological figure that is part of Christmas traditions in some regions of Central and Eastern Europe, particularly in Austria, Bavaria, Hungary, the Czech Republic and other nearby areas. Krampus is known to be the opposite of Saint Nicholas and represents darkness, mischief and punishment. The Krampus is depicted as a demonic creature with demonic characteristics. He usually has horns, furry skin, sharp claws and a long tongue. He carries chains and bells that jingle as he moves, and sometimes carries a basket or backpack in which he places naughty children to take them to his lair or punish them. In many traditions, the Krampus acts in conjunction with Saint Nicholas. While Saint Nicholas rewards good children with gifts and sweets, Krampus is responsible for scaring naughty children and punishing them for their bad behavior. The night of December 5th, known as Krampusnacht or Krampus Night, is when the Krampus is believed to take to the streets to terrorize people, especially disobedient children. During this holiday, people often dress up as Krampus and participate in parades and festivals. Although Krampus is best known in Austria and Bavaria, its influence has spread to other regions of Central and Eastern Europe. In each area, the representation and customs associated with the Krampus may vary. In some versions of the Krampus tradition, naughty children are given coal as punishment instead of gifts and candy. This is considered a reminder that they must behave well to receive rewards from Saint Nicholas instead of being punished by the Krampus. Number 1, Wendigo. The Wendigo is a mythological figure and supernatural being that is part of the legends and traditions of the indigenous peoples of North America, especially among the Algonquian tribes and other native cultures of the region. The Wendigo is characterized by its terrifying appearance and its connection with cannibalism and evil. The Wendigo is described in various ways, but is commonly depicted as a gigantic, skinny, cadaverous creature, with pale or ice-covered skin. His face often has inhuman features, such as red eyes and sharp teeth. He is sometimes associated with the cold and snow, and is depicted as an emaciated and hungry figure. The Wendigo is considered one of the most malevolent beings in Native American mythology. He is credited with an insatiable appetite for human flesh and is a symbol of cannibalism, greed and evil. In some versions of the legend, it is believed that a person who practices cannibalism or engages in malicious acts can become a Wendigo. Stories about the Wendigo are an important part of the oral tradition of many indigenous tribes, and are used to convey moral lessons and warnings about cannibalism and greed. Each tribe has its own variations of the legend. The Wendigo is commonly associated with cold, wooded regions, such as the northern forests of the United States and Canada. It is believed to lurk in remote and dark places. These are just a few examples of mythological creatures from around the world that have intrigued and amazed throughout history. Each of them has its own history and cultural meaning, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like, until next time.